Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel, to my wonderland. It is coffee time and today I have for you 10 movie releases of 2019. So here are 10 movies that a lot of people have been expecting or have been talking about and I've pulled them all together in this video for you and let's discuss those 10 movies. On the 25th of January we have Serenity. We follow the story of a divorced couple. So basically he decides that he just wants peace and he gets a fishing boat and he lives there until one day his ex-wife comes to disturb that peace because she is living with an abusive husband, he's very violent, and she goes to him and asks for help so that she can get rid of this abusive husband. And basically her proposal is that they take him out to the sea with a boat and they just throw him to the sharks. Yay! On the 14th of February, we're getting Alita Battle Angel, and this is based on a post apocalyptic manga. So Alita wakes up one day and she has no memory of anything, and this doctor finds her and he's being played by Christopher Waltz, which I adore. So he's a compassionate doctor and he realizes that Alita has been abandoned and he decides to take her in. Until one day, her best friend is trying to help her to get back her memories and then some corrupt forces come after Alita and she figures out that she has a special power. I'm super excited about this one, the trailer looks amazing, very interesting. They did mention that it was not as bloody as the original manga probably because they want this to be kind of more like a family movie. It is directed by Robert Rodriguez and also James Cameron is working on the screenplay as well as in the production, so I'm super excited to see what they did with the story. On the 29th of March we get the science fiction movie Captive State. It is an American science fiction thriller by the same director that did Rise of the Planet of the Apes and in this movie we have aliens which is something that I'm always interested in. And basically Chicago has been occupied by extraterrestrial forces and this movie is supposed to show both sides of the story from human and from alien perspective so that sounds very interesting. Also on the 29th of March we're getting Dumbo by Tim Burton so you know that this girl is excited about this release because I love Tim Burton. We get Eva Green, Colin Farrell, Danny DeVito, Michael Keaton and Sharon Rooney and this is supposed to be only loosely inspired on the Disney version of Dumbo and that one was also taken from a book. We follow the story of an elephant whose oversized ears help him to fly and he's being kept captive in a circus and they use him to save basically the circus because they were basically bankrupt. But then the story is a little bit darker and there are more secrets than it seems. And I'm super happy and super pumped because for what I've seen in the trailer, Danny DeVito is going to be again the circus owner slash manager because we already saw him in this role in another Tim Burton movie and that was Big Fish and that movie is one of the best movies ever and I'm super excited to have Danny DeVito back. On the 5th of April we have The Best of Enemies and it is a movie based on the 70s and it explores a very weird relationship between a woman that always fights for human rights and a guy that belongs to the Ku Klux Klan. So this is going to be a very interesting mix. I'm guessing it's going to be a very interesting drama and we will see. On the 16th of May we are getting John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum and this is going to be the final installment on the John Wick trilogy. Apart from Ken Reeves going back to his role, we are also getting Hal Berry and Mark Dacascos in the movie and I really really like Mark Dacascos so I'm super excited to see him as well in this movie. In this last installment, we still follow our main character, John Wick, that is trying to get away off New York alive. On the 4th of October, we're getting Gemini Man, and the plot sounds very, very similar, and everything looks very similar, suspiciously, to Looper, but this movie was in the making for 20 years, so it is not really a copy, but I wonder why is it so similar. We follow Will Smith, which is a hitman in this movie, and he has to face his own clone, hence the Looper situation. And then I'm excited to see this. I'm not a fan of uh, Will Smith, but I do like this kind of science fiction movies So I'm still excited to check it out. On the 1st of November, we're getting Terminator 6 and this is the third attempt to make a new trilogy and this time I think it's going to succeed because we have James Cameron behind it. We're getting Arnold Schwarzenegger back and we're getting Linda Hamilton back, which I'm very excited about. And James Cameron has said that this is going to be a direct sequel to Terminator 2 The Judgment Day and they're going to ignore everything that came after that. He said, quote, 
We're pretending the other films were a bad dream. I am extremely, extremely excited about this one to have Arnold and Linda back and I really hope, hope that this is going to be good. In number nine, <laughs> we have a movie that I'm not even really anticipating anymore and that is Star Wars Episode 9 coming at you on the 19th of December and directed by J.J. Abrahams. It is supposed to be the third installment on the last Star Wars trilogy and the ninth one on the whole series and it's supposed also to be the last one. And after The Last Jedi, I do hope that they end it here. After The Force Awakens in 2015, which was okay, and The Last Jedi in 2017, which was a pile of hot garbage, this one is supposed to be the conclusion and it's going to take place one year after the last movie, The Last Jedi. And we're still going to be able to see Princess Leia thanks to the archived footage and I'm really excited about that. For me, she should have died in The Last Jedi. I thought that was the perfect moment, the perfect scene in the movie for her to go. I was ready for it, I was expecting it and when she opened her eyes in that scene, I have never been so mad at a Star Wars movie since basically Jar Jar Binks happened. And the last one that I want to mention, just because a lot of people have been talking about it, I'm not really too excited about it, it is Cats. And this one is coming out on the 20th of December and it is based on the musical by the same name. But that musical was inspired in a book by T.S. Eliot, which is a compilation of poems about cats. It was called Old Possum's Book to Practical Cats. I've never watched the musical but I've always wanted to because you know I thought I would enjoy it being a cat lady like I am and in this movie we're going to get to see Jessica Hudson and Taylor Swift which I'm not excited about so I don't know if I will watch it. Musicals are not really my thing except a couple of exceptions like the Rocky Horror Picture Show so I don't know if I will be watching it but in case that you love musicals you might want to check this one out and it comes right for Christmas 2019. So these were 10 2019 movie releases coming at you. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what you thought about the movies that I mentioned. Are you excited to watch any of them? Thanks so much for watching you guys. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for support and if you're interested to follow me in all the social media, the links as always are down below and I hope to see you all in the next coffee time. Bye!